Lizzie, do you remember the assignment Miss Tony gave us? Yeah, it was something about food waste. People don't even think about the food they waste. I still can't believe 40% of food in America is trashed. Tell me about it. Ridiculous. I've been reading the drawdown. There's some good stuff in there. I think I'm going to start composting. What is that? It's when you take food waste, like banana peels, coffee grinds, or eggshells. Mix it with some soil and grass clippings to make a healthier soil for gardening. Nope, not me. No way. You can have that one. Ugh, no, I can't deal with the worms. I think I'd rather concentrate on the three R's. The three R's? Yeah, reduce, reuse, recycle. Don't buy what I don't need. Reuse and recycle everything I can. It's Adrian. We were supposed to meet him at the cafe. We're late. We gotta go. Meanwhile at the cafe. Thanks for coming. Not sure where Lizzie and Gabby are. Those two are always late. I want to run this idea by you. I'll catch them up later. Of course, Adrian. What's up? What's your idea? <laughs> Look around. What do you see? Hmm. People eating. Yes. But what about the food they are not eating? The wasted food. Even the food scraps in the kitchen. It goes in the garbage. Such a wasted opportunity. We can collect the wasted food to generate gas and nutrient rich fertilizer through a biodigester, but I don't know where to start. Wow, I'm impressed. I think you need to talk to Dr. Colhane at the University of South Florida Patel College of Global Sustainability. He can definitely help you with that. Let's check out his Facebook page to see some of his videos about biodigesters. Here's one. Hi, I'm T.H. Culhane for Solar Cities, and this is the world's first home basement biodigester, a device that takes food waste from the garbage disposal in the kitchen upstairs and turns it into clean cooking fuel for all our meals and organic fertilizer for growing our vegetables. You can think of it as a kind of liquid composting tank, but we prefer to call it our domestic dragon, a fire-breathing house pet that eats our food scraps and helps us cook food and make new food again. Don't let all the plumbing and heating pipes fool you. Actually, building a home biogas system is really easy. Let's go outside to our backyard model so you can see. Now here in the backyard, our outside model helps you to see this. Basically, all a biodigester is, is a sealed water tank with three pipes in it. One is the dragon's mouth, a place to put the food waste into the stomach. Another is the ureter to get the liquid compost out. And the third, here in the middle, is the gas out pipe, which literally passes gas. In this homemade biodigester, we've put a window in for solar heating, and we use foam insulation to keep it warm. To recap, like a dragon, the stomach made from an old water tank, has a throat to eat, it has a pipe to pee, and it has a tube to pass gas. That's basically it. They're really easy to build, and they can give you up to two hours of cooking gas each day from just one bucket of food waste. It makes a great school project, so please, do try this at home. Yes, that was perfect. Thanks for the lead. Good job, Adrian. Okay, see you in class. Make sure you call Dr. Colhane.